What is up everybody? I'm back in Toronto as you can see. I hope you enjoyed my New York vlogs. As you're watching this video, these hoodies are officially live as well as these beanies are now available. So it comes in brown, white, and blue. And then there's also green, red, and white. As you can see, it says mute in this sort of like futuristic font. And my personal favorite color is this blue and orange one. So if you want to check it out, go to mute.shop. The thing most people have been waiting for is actually these hoodies. So these super heavy charcoal zip hoodies that I'll put some photos in, some videos of me wearing it just so you see how it fits a bit better. It's a cut and sewn, made in Canada, French terry. It has this little raw hem, like sort of distressed detailing. And the sleeve at the bottom here, it's sort of layered just so it looks nice and heavy and like stacks nice at the sleeve. And there's a little logo detail here. I didn't want to do too much of the branding just because I wanted to make something that you guys could wear every day. It's cost the most out of anything I've ever made. So when you're not like a big factory making like thousands and thousands of units, the cost goes up as you make less. So this stuff ends up being more expensive, but I seriously think it's an incredibly high quality hoodie that will last you a lifetime. Go to mute.shop, it's also early access. If you want future drops, you just put your phone number and you'll have early access. Uh, you'll get the password for early access. I want to thank you guys so much for the support lately on the vlog, it's been insane. And I'll continue on with the vlog now. Dad, we're going to turn this gourmet off. <laughs> Bring it on. You have never seen this before. You know how they make this noodle, right? They, they, they make the dough, of course, the noodle comes out in a machine. And after they boil it, and after they drain it, and after they fry it very slow in oil, completely turn into a mold like this instant noodle it means they already been cooked there is no more everything is opened up already vitamin, i don't know why okay if you look at this right vitamin a and then they are zero percent vitamin c is why, why do they put it in then and then they have like calcium two percent i iron 20 percent they put in so why bother to put in when there's zero percent well iron chef dad that's 100 percent okay let's go son i have some ideas thank you for the challenge son i want to stick this Noodle separate the seasoning, water. Completely fill this up because it need to open up. So a little bit submerged. Three hours soaking. After that, I make that skin into chicharron of salmon. You know what chicharron? Chicharron is a Mexican uh, pork skin, which I remember when I was in Mexico City. I saw them with a big walk. They slide the whole pig skin in. It just pop up. Skin of salmon chicharron. I cut it up and in different forms. You see the beautiful scale from the fish after it's been really cleaned up. Oh, skin down, oh. oil is hot. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, so it's good. Oh, yeah. up, up. Nice. This is what, exactly what I'm looking for. Nice and puffed. Mm. Spicy sesame chili spice. Mm. Yummy. Three hours later, drain out some water. It goes into blender and this is Grandmaster seasoning of that package, the 99 cents, and that makes everything. This one is a master chef. I also prepare a few ingredients, so I'm gonna run through with you guys. So what I have here is tomato coulis, parsley puree, spinach puree, sea asparagus. I got some flour from Jamaica, hibiscus. It's their second favorite flour from Jamaica, right? You're talking about ganja, my friend. When we were younger, yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. I have steamed some mussels here too. Yellow eggs and also mashed potato. That's my glue. I put the dough in here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of squid ink. How amazing nature is. I actually have ink like this. So I put some into beautiful, <coughs> beautiful velvet in color. Whoa, look at that. I have a sauce here, saffron steamed mussel juice. Little shallots, white wine. Scrape everything in. Big. Let it dry it out. Now this one is the ink rami noodles. Now this one you want to be quite thin. Right now I'm making scallop mousse. Egg white, just a little bit egg white. You crush ice, a little bit dash of liquid, give a little umami taste. In. Crust is ready. It's around wrap. I'm gonna cut this into little circles. I'm 
Okay, the rest I'm going to steam it. Just softening it up a little bit. But what is this machine? My homemade steamer is the best. Well, I have some mashed potatoes. Now this is my potato glue, right? A little bit of salt. Smash a little bit of this potato, like a scale of a potato. That's the ramen noodles. Tighten this up a bit. Now scallop mousse, right in the middle. Like a little sushi. A little sushi log. Cut it. I'm going to turn on the steamer. Two minutes. You know, if everything sealed nicely, moisture is there, then you put olive oil. A little bit of smoke, right away, face down. That's a go nicely crusted. Ah, nice, nice. Okay, it's in the oven. Tomato coulis, spinach puree, parsnip. Scallop mousse. A little bit of whipping cream, leaves on the sauce. That's where you wanna just drop it in. in the center. It has biscuits, a little acidity. This is a sea asparagus. Sums it up of making this dish is really complete from the ocean. How great is that? You know, everything from the sea is right here. Land and sea incorporated. What's the land? The land. Is there land in there? Actually, there's no land. Just see. A couple of chicharron, a little spicy chicharron, muscle. That's it. The dish is salmon crusted with ramen uh, kimchi noodle. Uh, I made it in two different ways with scallop mousse and also with coolies and also with a saffron mussel sauce. Now, chicharron is part of the salmon. So, guys, there you go. And that's my gourmet of ramen noodle. All right, I'm gonna try this now. If you wanna see my dad's reaction, you can see the TikTok, the condensed version, but. So I have the salmon here crusted with the ramen. Mm. I think this is one of your most artistic scales. Wow. Recreating the scales of the wow. salmon, right? The artistic part, wow, I should tap myself on the shoulder. So creativity give you 10 out of 10 probably, no? Mm. So would you say it was a success? Mm. Pretty success, I really enjoyed myself. And thanks for watching, if you really like it, or do like it, please click it.